Now we can use the quick view cube control to rotate the view by selecting specific locations on the cube. Now you'll find this cube down in the bottom right hand corner and if we'd like to look at the front view, look at this front on, we can just click on the front view right there. If we'd like to look at the isometric view again, we can click on it right there. And you can walk around the box like this, look at different isometric views, we could look at the back, we can flip it around in this direction and look at, for, look at an isometric view that way. And if you'd like to get back to where you were initially to go home, we can just push the home button. Another neat feature is if we go say to the right view and we'd like to rotate the view. So lots of cool options right here. We'll just go back to the home position. Now another way to rotate the view would be to simply hold down your middle mouse button. So push down on the middle mouse button and move your mouse around. And that's probably the simplest way to freeform rotate. Now if you don't have a middle mouse button, then come down here to this bottom right hand corner and along here you'll find a rotate button. So you could click on that also and then the left mouse button does exactly the same thing. Let's take a look at how we can also use keyboard shortcut keys to change the view of the model. Now if we'd like to look at the front view, we could type Control F. If we'd like to look at the right view, Control R, Control T for top, Control L for left, and back to Control I for ISO. Now to zoom in and zoom out, you simply need to roll the middle mouse button. Roll in and roll out. Now if you lose track of your model, just say this happens and you zoom way out and you look like there's nothing on your screen, then what you can do is simply go down to the fit button right here and fit the screen again. So you can also zoom in and out right here. Click on the zoom in and out button and hold down the left mouse button. And again if you zoom way in and you can't see anything, just go back to your fit button. Another easy way to zoom in and out is to simply use the slider right here. Just slide that to the negative or slide it to the positive. And any time you want you can just go back and fit again. Another nice feature is the pan. Just click on the pan, that's the little hand there, and you can just move your model around on your screen. So if you move it way out of position and you'd like to fit it, just go back to the fit view. Now if you forget where a command is, you can simply go down here where it says find a command. And you can type in whatever you're looking for. Like I'll type in fit. If you can't remember where it is, hit enter. And it comes up with command finder. And command finder says, okay, we see a match for fit. If you click on this or hover over it, it highlights that command right there. Do it again. See how it highlights? And then you can click on it and it'll actually fit the screen. Let's go back and try another one. Let's do rotate. So I type in rotate, hit enter, and it comes back. Okay. Oh, this is rotate elements. So it's showing me a number of different locations for this. Again, if I come here, I see it over there, the one underneath. I see it down below. What about spin about? I see that in a different location. So in review, you can often find the same commands in multiple locations. For example, the fit and zoom button are also found up here underneath the view tab. If you go to orient, you'll see them right here, zoom, fit, pan.